Greetings, wise ones, and welcome back to the 8th House Wisdom channel. I'm Melissa of 8th House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, business astrologer, feminine energy, and stellar planning expert. Today, we are welcoming the transformative Taurus full moon lunar eclipse taking place on October 28th, 2023, and the last in an 18-month eclipse series focused in the signs of Taurus and Scorpio. As the lunar energies align, it's important for us to recognize what a significant period of releasing and letting go is taking place, especially related to the shadows within us. So, in this video, I'll be sharing eight powerful ways to do some internal shadow work using the energy of this lunar eclipse to close out a chapter in your life and experience a sweet ending of an era. So stay tuned for those eight tips. And don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel for more Lunar Wisdom Formula and Eclipse updates. The full moon lunar eclipse begins at 2.01 p.m. Eastern Time in the sign of Taurus on Saturday, October 28th, 2023. This lunar eclipse is a rare and friendly one with a pleasant or sweet ending. And most eclipses aren't always that way. This is due to the fact that it is joined with the lucky expansive planet of Jupiter in the heavens, which indicates a positive ending to events despite the difficult journey it may have taken to get there. This eclipse brings to a close a thread that has been running in our lives since autumn of 2021. It also harkens back specifically to the date October 28th, 2004, 19 years prior when we experienced an eclipse at the same degree of Taurus. So as we think about the contents of this video and this upcoming lunation, I want to encourage you to consider where you started and how far you've come since then, including those two dates as mile markers. Then I want you to ask yourself, what is the title of this now closed book? What would you give this tone or final chapter as a theme or name moving forward. Doing this can help you to process the information and downloads that have come over the past 18 months. This eclipse sequence, which has been rippling across the Taurus and Scorpio axis since November 19th of 2021, has really profoundly reshaped our economy, our own financial patterns, issues related to our personal values, relationship to pleasure and money. And in keeping with the idea and the spirit of what full moons and lunar eclipses ask us to do, this video is going to be focused on eight ways that you can complete, close out a chapter, release and create a vacuum to call in more abundance and realign your values at the end of this particular era. Because all of these topics tend to be Taurus focused areas that will be directly impacted by the lunar event. To apply the information in this video, click the link below 
to get a free copy of your birth chart. Understand your planetary placements and get your planet positions at birth so you know where all the signs are in your chart. So let's get into these tips so that you can create your vacuum, reap your blessings, and end this era on a sweet note. Starting with number one, connect with the earth or ground. Taurus is an earth sign, and so grounding yourself in nature, with trees, in the mountains, hands in dirt, any of those things during this eclipse can help you release built up tension and negative energies and clear your vessel to create the vacuum calling forth insights, new ideas, and new benefits for time moving ahead. Number two, meditate. This is a topic I bring up for almost every moon because the moon rules our inner world and requires a level of introspection. But find a quiet space to center yourself. Close your eyes, practice breath work, use your imagination to visualize releasing of emotional baggage that no longer serve you. Imagine your insides creating a container to be filled with new insights. This will help you call in the energy that you're looking to experience. Number three, journal. Since we are smack dab in the middle of Scorpio shadow work season, it is important to journal your thoughts in order to interact with your shadow self. And your shadow self is simply the part of you that you don't regularly interact with on a daily basis because it is internally focused. Through writing down your fears, doubts, and unresolved issues, you will get more clarity about them and relate to them in a different way. Recognize that the acknowledgement of them on paper is a powerful step towards releasing them as well as helping you to synthesize the information to gain wisdom from your previous experiences. Number four, specific to Taurus energy, let go of material attachments. If we're creating a vacuum to call in new and wonderful things of personal value, new property, and new material wealth, then we must let go of that which we no longer use. Think about ways to declutter your space Allocate things you have, haven't used in the past two years for items to be passed along to other people, serving and releasing attachments and making room for new energy and new abundance to come through. Number five, forgiveness rituals. Performing forgiveness is a crucial crucial piece of working with the full moon and again while I am not recommending engaging in heavy ritual related to manifesting around the room the moon a forgiveness ritual is something I would recommend at all times not just during the full moon light a candle hold an object or a photo representing that which you need to let go of say words release those burdens and then take a ceremonious act such as flushing it down the toilet, burying it in a garden, anything that signals to you that this is done in order to create that internal space that will help you reap your blessings. Number six, practice breath work. Breath is life. When we are stressed, we breathe in a shallow way from our chest up. When we are embodied and calm and in the zone, we breathe from our diaphragm, expanding our stomach and our rib cage to allow 
maximum amount of oxygen to come in and maximum amount of insight to be received. Utilizing your breath to regulate yourself and taking deep intentional breaths throughout the day helps to release tension and allows you to let go of emotional baggage by signaling your body to relax and let go. I highly recommend practicing square breathing. Four counts in, four counts hold, four counts out, four counts hold. Working with this rhythm and with the body will definitely help to positively tone your emotional container for more to be received as the energy of the Taurus Lunar Eclipse dissipates. Number seven, seek support. It is absolutely crucial when we are going through periods of transition that we seek out help, support, and anchoring as we make our way into the new timeline. So encourage yourself to connect with a trusted friend. Reach out to a therapist if you have one. Talk to a coach, but make sure you share your more challenging feelings and experiences so that you're not walking around holding the bag. Sometimes talking it out is the first step to healing because it's better out than in. And remember, courage is not the absence of fear. It's the presence of fear and doing things anyway. Last but not least, number eight is truly about a practice of release. You could call it a ritual if you'd like. To perform intentional releasing under the full moon eclipse will look different for everyone. Determine what area of your chart is being ruled by Taurus. And that will give you some indication of ways and formats to integrate into your letting go process. That will reflect the way that this global energy is impacting you on a one-on-one -on -one level. You could go stand outside under the moon's glow you can review any of the endings that occurred with the May 5th lunar eclipse in Scorpio, or go back to previous eclipse dates in this series and think about what you gained and what needs to be let go. Once you've done that, visualize all that you are getting rid of dissipating into the shadows. Trust yourself and trust that any efforts to let go, make room and detach, especially related to the sign of Taurus, will create an opposing energy that calls even greater than the equivalent to you through your act of self-sacrifice, completing and releasing. So there you have it, my wise ones. The Taurus full moon lunar eclipse is really a powerful time for letting go of what no longer serves you, especially since it is the tail end of an 18 month cycle. Through the use of these eight steps, you can really be guided to continue deepening the shadow work that needs to occur during Scorpio season to stay vented and regulated, but also to make the best of this money, values, and earthly toned moon. Make sure that you embrace this wonderful opportunity for transformation so that you can find inner peace and healing and that you are prepared for what will be rolling out now that the Taurus Scorpio timeline of eclipses has ended and the 
dust is now settling for us to integrate into daily life as we prepare for the new season in 2024. I hope that you have received some powerful or useful information here in working with this, the last and final eclipse of the year in the sign of Taurus. Make sure that you attend, again, to the area in your chart ruled by Taurus to really personalize the information shared here to you and your chart. And don't forget that through astrology and the process of stellar planning, life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Until my next video, wise ones, sending you lots of light and love. Take care and bye for now. Discover the keys to your life's path and purpose by reading the stars with a free personal astrology report sample from 8th House Wisdom. From obstacles to opportunities, these reports teach you what you need to know to thrive. Try out any of these eight types of astrology reports, two multi-package reports, and one tarot reading in the 8th House Wisdom Astro Report store before you buy them. They're available for immediate download and specific to you, your life, and your unique birth information. Self-care isn't selfish. It's absolutely necessary for a soft life. Click the link below to get my free top seven beauty therapy and self-care tips and the beauty therapy checklist. Learn to manifest by the moon with my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula. It helps women stay in tune with feminine energy and manifest a life that feels as good as it looks. The 2023 edition comes with a bonus moon calendar and important dates. Click the link in the description below. Get more out of your beauty treatments and self-care by aligning them with the moon's mood and phase. In my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula for Beauty and Self-Care. This guide does all the hard work for you so you can get greater benefits from your self-care and live a softer life by the moon. Link in the description below. Introducing our newest book, Guide to Herbal Remedies, packed with information on how to use herbs and plants to promote health and well-being. The guide includes detailed information on a wide range of herbs and their healing properties, as well as recipes for teas, tinctures, and other remedies you can make at home. Whether you're looking to boost your immune system, reduce stress and anxiety, or treat common ailments, this guide has everything you need to get started with natural healing. Join us as we explore the world of herbal remedies and discover how you can use the power of plants to support your health and well-being. Plus, two bonus items for getting herbal tools and using herbs to smudge so you can round out your herbal med medicine cabinet and toolkit. Crystals are a fantastic tool to harmonize and ground your energy. Use my coupon code 8th House Wisdom for 11% off high quality ethically sourced crystals. Click the link in the description below to shop today. Triple your blessings and manifestations this year by downloading a free copy of the 2023 Stellar Year Blueprint. It's my formula for applying astrology to align your life to the natural cycles for greater ease and grace. Click the link in the description below 
to download yours today. Get an in-depth look at the astrology of 2023 and more information about my stellar planning process with this free workshop. Triple your new year manifestations with astrology. Click the link in the description below to watch now. Go deep in the astrology for 2023 and set the tone for how you want to feel this year with the 2023 Stellar Year Blueprint with Free and Clear and the Desire Map. Get in-depth information on my stellar planning process plus 19 multimedia lessons, a workbook, tools, and resources to really have a stellar 2023. Use the link in the description or go to thewisdombeacon.com. Remember, wise ones, life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sending you so much light and love. Take care.